All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here is a quick video that we're gonna walk you through exactly one of the tools that we'll be using, which is Coinigy. Pretty simple, uh, set, up a, set up a Coinigy account, click on sign up, and obvious what it asks you there. So let me go ahead and put my info and then I will be right back. Okay, so once you're inside, after you verified your account, pretty simple. You're gonna ask. You're gonna have the account for 30 days free. Now it's up to you if you want to pay for it after that. If you want to create another account, it's up to you. So for right now, we're just gonna say no thanks. Maybe later. And we're going to pretty much just play around with it. So what I'd like for you to do is take a little bit of time to sort of toy around with all the stuff that you see around. Even if you don't know what you're doing, uh, you're not gonna hurt anything. Uh, one of the first things I do is I close off this panel by clicking here. And I'm going to give you a couple of really quick, simple little tips uh, to play around with stuff. <clears throat> Later on, we'll, we'll spend more time figuring out how each of the tools work. But really, there's only a few things to keep in mind. First of all, over here on this side, you'll see that there's all these little codes. Binance, this basically stands for Binance, Bitfinex, etc. These are different exchanges that allow you to do cryptocurrency exchange. Here are all the different types of coin pairs or cryptocurrency pairs. Um, AGA slash BTC, that's Bitcoin with that AGA coin. If you want to find certain coins, you can ty start typing them in. For example, let's say you know what NEO means. NEO is a particular coin, but it doesn't narrow down which exchanges have that coin and which pairs they have. So in Bittrex, there's NEO and USDT, NEO and Bitcoin, and even if you don't know what that means right now, that's okay. Just click on one of them, and it'll give you a chart. Okay. Now, you can toy around and try different ones, but what I'd like for you to also do is play around with the tools in here. I click on one, and what does that do? Oh, look at that. Makes a line. What is? Let's see if I click on this little arrow. What does that do? Oh gives me an angle. Okay, that's cool. Uh, what does the next thing do? Ray. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay. And so on and so forth. You can hop to the next category. Try a pitchfork. See what does that do? Oh, look at that. Okay. At the end of the day, you could just right click on the main window. And what you could do is you could remove all the drawings. And that's it. It's gone. <clears throat> you can try different things just play around with all of them you can also change time frames this is hours you can go hours minutes you can go days just toy around with this tool all you can because we'll click on things try clicking on here what is this indicator things what is this accumulation distribution oh that gave me a little chart oh interesting okay what do I what happens if I click here? Oh look at that. I got colors and wicks and scales and <clears throat> what's going on? Okay, so after all said and done, you can just keep playing around with different different buttons, see what you can come familiar with. If you wish to, you can go and when you've set up an account, you'll receive emails that'll give you some an idea of what these tools do. If you're not sure, then go over to YouTube, search up Coinage, how to use the drawing tools, how to use a long position, how to use a forecast. And you'll find a bunch of little tools that'll help you kind of just become familiar with it. And as we proceed, then we will get to find out more in detail how to make use of these tools in a way that you'll benefit greatly. All right, so go ahead and set up your account and then let's get ready to have some fun. If you like this video, click like and remember to subscribe. Have an awesome day.